Hey everyone, I'm Johnny and here are 13 modern post-World War II movies with great tank scenes worth watching. Some of these productions will be serious and some satire. Can we fire the gun? You think I tease you and not take you all the way? Move it! Come on, move it, move it! Let's go, let's go! Starting from oldest to newest, Red Dawn, 1984. An interesting dramatization of the invasion of continental United States, the movie is a cult classic for many. For the budget and the fact it was filmed during the Cold War, this movie did a great job at creating numerous mock-ups of Soviet armor and weaponry, including this T-72, doing battle with resistance fighters and another mock-up M1 Abrams. Look for a ton of great mock-ups in this movie, built on M48 Patton and M8 tractor chassis. Full Metal Jacket, 1987. One of the most iconic Vietnam War movies there is. The movie has a few brief but great scenes with authentic M41 Walker Bulldogs. Though this tank wasn't actually used by the United States Marine Corps in Vietnam, some were actually provided to the South Vietnamese Army, so it's not completely out of place in this movie. The Beast of War, 1988. This would be one of the best tank movies on the list, and one of the best tank movies ever made. It's also unique in though it's an American film, it's one of the few covering the Soviet-Afghan War of the 1980s. The tanks used in this film are authentic Soviet T-55s, captured by the Israelis from Arab armies, redesignated as TI-67s. In the film, the resolve of the Mujahideen to fight off the foreign Soviet tankers makes this film even more poignant today than it was on release. Alright, Goldeneye 1995. This is obviously an over-the-top 007 action scene, but it's one of the best chase sequences in cinema. This was actually filmed using three tanks, two T-54s and a T-55, filmed on the actual streets of St. Petersburg, with the tanks outfitted with rubber pads not to destroy the roads. The film crew had to empty 90,000 cans of Pierre water for the crash stunt. The sequence took six weeks to film, with a brilliant showdown at the end against a Soviet armored train. Saber elements is a Saber 6. Move out. Courage Under Fire, 1996. A war movie covering the Gulf War with numerous military themes such as trauma and justice. The opening tank engagement features well acted and intense cockpit scenes that highlight the intensity of battle and how friendly fire mistakes are possible. During the Gulf War, 35 Americans and 9 British troops would die to friendly fire. The Pentagon didn't want to associate itself with the themes of the movie and did not lease M1 Abrams for the production, so the studio was forced to use British Centurions to combat the Iraqi T-55s. I heard you, we... What? Oh my god. You just let up boiler, goddammit! Saber 6 now... The Pentagon Wars, 1998. Even though this movie is focused on the development of the Bradley fighting vehicle, not technically a tank, I wanted to include it as it's one of the few modern movies dedicated to armored vehicles and the complexity of their development. Though the movie is very satirical in nature, and very funny, it does highlight some real political and bureaucratic pitfalls in modern weapon development. The Bradley cost the US taxpayer $14 billion during its 17-year development. Uh, shouldn't we take a closer look? No, no, actually, it's safety precautions. Gee, the fire team goes out there first, and then no one else is allowed near the vehicle for at least another hour. Yeah, I'm showing it, hot Excuse me. What's going on up there? Zero, this is Alpha. Warriors, 1999. 
I further wanted to include warriors on the list even though the warrior is technically an infantry fighting vehicle and not strictly a tank because this BBC two-part series focuses heavily on the armored vehicle it's named after and it's an excellent historical drama. The British Ministry of Defence lent the vehicles to BBC in support of their well-researched production covering British UN involvement during the Bosnian War. I highly recommend this two-part film. Buffalo Soldiers 2001 is set on an army base in 1989 Berlin. It's a satirical look at army life with some dark themes of weapon smuggling and drug abuse within the army. As opposed to being an anti-war movie, this is actually more of an anti-military culture film, so it won't be for everyone, though it does have a great cast. It also has some interesting tank scenes, particularly one lengthy scene of a tank crew causing general mayhem in a Leopard 1A5 while high on heroin. Not surprisingly, the studio had to use a Leopard as the American military wanted nothing to do with this movie. We just ran over a car, man. We just squashed a car. What kind of car? A Volkswagen, a fucking Beetle. I don't know. We squashed the Beetle. <laughs> Lebanon, 2009. Much like the Beast of War, Lebanon's focus is entirely centered around a tank crew and their experience inside their shot, an Israeli-modified Centurion tank, during the 1982 Lebanon War. The filming of this movie is very unique in that almost 100% of it is shown from inside the tank, with glimpses of the war's horror shown from the gun sight. This has a similar immersive and claustrophobic feel as Dust Boot. <laughs> Everybody okay? What are the chances they think we're dead? A Team 2010. Alongside Goldeneye, one of the funnest movie scenes. Lots of fun debate on the internet about the actual plausibility of any of this. What the movie did do right was use a CGI and made for movie M8 armored gun system light tank that though never made it into mass production was designed to be transported and even airdropped and lightly equipped by the C-130 Hercules. So it was impressive that despite being a totally bonkers scene, they did choose an actual tank designed to be used this way. Can we? Which way to Berlin? Asking for directions to Berlin. <laughs> I don't make decisions anymore. You're making the decisions today, Rick. Walking Dead, Season 4, Episode 8, 2013. I wanted to include this scene both because it features our band of brothers Joy Toy driving an M60 Patton, but also because the Patton is knocked out by a grenade. I'll leave it to anyone to debate this plausibility in the comment section, but this actually can happen under the right circumstances and was caught on camera in Syria when a combatant knocked out a T-72 with two grenades down the barrel. This working depends on a number of factors. Is the breach open, closed, loaded, and with what? and the type of grenade used. Alright, The Interview 2014. Another crazy scene from a goofy satire movie, which is hit or miss for most people. Obviously, the highlight of the movie is Kim Jong-un being destroyed by his own T-55, which is the real thing. No mock-ups for North Korea's glorious leader. <laughs> Operation Red Sea 2018 features an impressive well-shot tank battle with three M60 Pattons chasing a T-72 with reactive armor. Though the tactics in this scene are odd and dramatic, this movie has a high production value, and Western audiences may find themselves surprised at this Chinese production, loosely inspired by China's involvement in the evacuation of their citizens from Yemen during the Civil War in 2015. It's a great foreign action movie all round, and worth checking out.
All right, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to add some tank movie scenes to the list, please do so in the comment section below. As always, if you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.